Hi everyone, I'm J.D. Hoovener and welcome to The Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor, and entrepreneur, and business owner, get your daily dose of inspiration to make the world a better place. So we're in part four of our flying animal theme, and I found a really cool animal. This is the flying fish, okay? <laughs> um, and it was, I pulled the stats up, and flying fish actually are able to come out of the water for up to 655 feet. It's like, wow, yeah, that's more than two football fields. Um, and these fish stay above the water, right? This is an environment that they're not used to, the air, right? They, they still breathe, they still have gills underwater, and yet they're, they're able to stay above water for, you know, what could be multiple minutes and travel far distances. Um, so this is your challenge of the day, is to think about the parts of your day that you dread. You know, maybe that, that time where you've got to go underwater, <laughs> or you've got to do that activity that you've just been, you know, putting off for too long, maybe procrastinating, knock it out first. That's your challenge of today. And put your comments below what that project is going to be and tell us all about it. Okay, so I had to dig pretty hard, but I did. I found a flying fish patent. So have a look at it here. This was, uh, this was issued in 1993, and it's for a floatable device that has propeller. Um, it is actually an entertainment device. Okay, this, this invention was to solve the problem that uh, a lot of you know, enthusiasts had, airplane um, hobby, you know, airplane, model airplane flight, uh, the issues of going over water, <laughs> not such a good outcome if those planes hit the water. Well, this is actually a, a model airplane that is floatable. So when you fly it over water, it's able to land on the water and even float and move like a boat would. So it's a pretty neat invention uh, and it certainly solves a need out there. So the legal issue today I wanted to touch on is fairly high level, but it's important. Uh, 35 USC section 101 requires that for a utility application, uh, it must have utility. <laughs> okay, this is the third requirement among the novelty, non-obviousness, uh, novelty, non-obviousness, and utility. So utility is that third prong, and it's usually not an issue for mechanical arts, but in this case, uh, it's a little bit, um, you know, a little bit not so uh, obvious that you will be able to get a utility on a on a toy. Well, absolutely, even toys provide a value of entertainment. And so that entertainment purpose provides that function and gets it past that threshold. I right, hope you enjoyed today's version of the Bold Today Show. Please feel free to forward this to anyone that wouldn't mind getting a little tidbit about patent law and having a fun challenge of the day. Have a good day, everybody. Go big, go bold. Go big, go bold at boldip.com.